Hey, welcome back guys to Crafty Fox Blue. Today we're making the AWVR 7375 and 7346. So this is from the movie Unstoppable with the Runaway Train. And it's a gray EMD SD40-2 locomotive. And in the movie, it actually crashed with an engineer on board, uh, which was unfortunate, but it was a fictional movie. So don't worry too much about that. And it's actually a redesign of my older AWR uh, 7375 back over here. I made this back in 2018. Here's what it looks like. Comparison between the old one and the new one. Very nice. And one notable thing, when I made the original one, I thought like all SD40-2s are the same. Uh, but for this one in the actual movie, uh, the handrail is actually different. Like this part's more um, kind of like elevated up over here while the other one it's elevated but it goes further towards the back so uh, that is different from the 1206 sd40-2 and i uh, also colored in the plow adding a lot of detail onto it and quite a lot of people asked for this build so i really want to get it done fast now uh but yeah let's get started first off we're gonna grab our materials uh, that's gonna be acacia stairs oak slab dark oak fence gate nether brick uh, fence Oak fence, dark oak fence, nether brick slab, gray concrete, acacia fence gate, and we're also going to take out an oak stairs. So we're going to go on top of the tracks, place that in the middle, and then on the side of that we'll add in a cornered acacia stairs and upside down acacia stairs. And then on the top, in the middle, we'll add in an acacia fence gate. Open up towards the end. Then on um, the side of it, we'll add in a gray concrete like that. And we'll add in two blocks wide gray concrete like so. Then the side here, we'll add in another brick stairs upside down. And in the middle, we'll add a dark oak fence gate or a dark oak slab with a dark oak fence gate underneath it. And another one opened up facing towards the plow. And we'll add a tripwire hook right above it. Then on top, we'll add in another brick slab right there in the middle. And I'm going to make it go dangling three blocks. Just right to the edge. Then we'll add in on the bottom part. It's going to be an upside down. Another brick stairs right there. Dark oak fence gate in front of that. And then two um, oak slabs like that spaced apart and then an upside down nether brick stairs right there all right then on top we'll add in an oak fence here and a nether brick fence make an l shape around it like so then we'll go to the back add a nether brick fence here and then an oak fence and then a nether brick fence the other side we'll add in an oak fence while in the middle, that's going to have a dark oak um, trap door. Put that right in the middle. And then a stone slab right there. And we'll also add in a dark oak trap door right down here. And we'll need to add in this uh, ditch light, which is going to be a smooth quartz inside of an item frame right here in the corner. Just this little quadrant. It has a ton of detail packed into it. Now we're going to add in the wheels, I guess, so we're going to go grab our gray uh, terracotta hopper, um, nether brick block, and ideally we'll have a nether brick stairs. And then also don't forget the dark oak um, stairs. Alright, so go back here, add in the wheel, which is gray terracotta, dark oak stairs. Then we'll uh, skip a block, add another wheel. And skip a block, add another wheel. Like so. Inside part, we'll add in uh, another brick block in between the stairs. And upside down, another brick stairs uh, next to the wheel. Alright, then the inside part of this, we'll add in um, another brick slab right there in the middle. And dark oak fence gate inside here. And in the back, we're going to open up facing towards the wheel. 
Then we'll add in uh, fence gates in front of the stairs and hoppers in front of the wheels. Then um, in the space between, we'll add in nether brick slabs. Then we'll add in uh, nether brick stairs, which is going to be uh, right side up here. Then nether brick slab. And then I believe an upside down one right above that hopper. And right side upstairs, nether brick slab, and do the same thing. Upside down stairs and right side upstairs. We got these three semicircles, and now we're going to add in a dark oak sign right above the hopper in the back. And above that fence gate in the front. Then uh, we'll add in an oak slab right here in this corner. In the middle we'll add in, uh, let me grab it, another brick wall and black concrete. So we're going to add black concrete all the way across to the back. Like so. And then we'll go in the front, add in two black concretes, another brick wall, black concrete, two blocks long, another brick wall then two black concretes. And this middle here, we'll add in two nether brick slabs like that. Then we can add in uh, this nether brick fence right here. And that should be good to go. Now, I guess we'll start working on the fuel tanks. So we're gonna add in a two by two of black concrete. Say down nether brick stairs. And I'm gonna make this section so that it is nine blocks long. All right, next we'll add in three nether brick slabs to the front and upside down nether brick stairs across the side. Then the back we'll add in two nether brick slabs, that, uh, another brick fence right here. And we're to copy all the way that, everything we did in the front from the pilot all the way up to the slab. And we'll build it in the other direction right here. All right, so once we have the back, looks like this. Then we're going to add in four more oak slabs right here. One, two, three, and then four. And then we'll add, oh, we'll skip a block here. Two blocks tall, another brick fence like that. And we'll add in a dark oak fence gate in the space between. We'll also go to the back part and delete these two stairs. And we'll replace them with gray concrete so it's flat like so all right and then we'll also change up this orange acacia into another brick stairs like that upside down all right so now i guess um we'll work on the cab so take out or the hood a yellow concrete black concrete yellow glass pane dark oak fence gate light gray carpet uh blackstone is this blackstone button is it polished blackstone button i don't even know if it matters so in the front here we'll add in the middle a uh, yellow concrete and then black concrete on top and yellow then we'll go diagonally add black yellow black and then on top we'll add in light gray carpet in the middle we'll add a dark oak fence gate open that up and yellow glass paint at the top and the bottom then we'll add in green, I mean gray concrete, three blocks long. And then the polished blackstone button on top. Side here, we'll add in this light gray concrete, make it two by two. And then the bottom here, we're going to add in six light gray. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And in the back, we'll add in one uh, stone slab, and then the front, we're going to add two. The middle, we're going to make a U shape of light gray with black concrete inside. Then on top of that, we'll add in a uh, black glass at uh, light gray sides of that. And then the middle, we'll add in two black glass and then two black concretes inside. And then on top, we'll add in a two by three of light gray. Add one light gray in the front. Then we'll add in uh, this birch button, uh, birch sign, white glass pane. So we'll add in the birch button in the middle, sign right here to the side, and uh, light gray glass pane in the middle. And then we'll add on the side uh, another brick, I mean, 
stone stairs three blocks wide like that stone button on top of the middle of the cab and then a stone button on the side where the number is going to be and then the bottom will add in that polished black stone button two blocks actually three blocks long and then a stone button and then acacia button right in the front that's going to be the american flag then we'll add in um nether brick fence we're going to make an additional two blocks here I'm going to make this one two blocks tall, and then add a dark oak fence gate. Then on top here, we'll add in gray carpet. Blocks like that. And then light gray inside where the cab is. And now we'll go um, right to this back area. We're going to add two blocks of light gray. Then we're going to add three bedrocks. Light gray carpet on top light gray inside of it and three iron trap doors on top and we'll add light gray in the middle and then we'll skip a block add in another light gray and in this gap we'll add in stone stairs facing towards the front all right now we're going to add in i guess four more light grays to this so one two three and four and then we'll skip a block here, add in four daylight detectors, and make them all blue. And add light gray all across the side here. Then we'll add a stone stairs upside down facing the back here, and then two more right here, outwards and cornered in the front. With another brick stairs across the side. Alright, then we'll add in um Right down here in the middle, uh, two blocks tall, bedrock. And we are going to make it so it's going to be, I would say, seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And make it two blocks tall. Then we'll add in um, an oak stairs in the bottom corner. Stone stairs on top. And then um, two stone slabs here. Upside down stone stairs. And then stone slabs all the way across to the other side. And I believe this might be different. So actually, I'm going to change this middle stairs face towards the back. And two slabs here, and then stairs, and then three slabs. Then we'll add in light gray all the way across to the front. All right. Then on top, we'll add in a daylight detector, two blocks. Skip a block, add one. Skip a block, add two. Make them all blue. And we can add in a light gray carpet right above this. The stairs and slabs, as well as the bedrock. And the side part as well. Make them all light gray. Like that. Then this back part, we'll add in yellow concrete. Black, yellow, black, yellow, and this inner part will add in black, yellow, black. And we can add in a birch sign right here to the side, which is going to be our number plate and a birch fence gate in the middle. Open that up. And on top, we'll add also a light gray carpet, like so. And now for this bottom section, I guess we'll just add in a light gray concrete all the way across the side. Right up to that point. And then we'll go <laughs> right to the back. You know what? We could just fill in the entire thing right now. Like so. Alright, so once we filled that entire wall in, so then we're going to add in two dark oak buttons down here. And we'll go right to where this nether bricks uh, stairs uh, starts. And I'm going to delete these two blocks in the middle. And we're going to make it so it's, I guess, five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. So we have this giant hole. And where the hole is, we're going to fill in the inside part with this light gray concrete inside. Like so, so that's where the logo is going to be. Alright, so um, 
Now I'm going to add in this um, light gray glass pane right here to the side. And we can also make the window banner or the door banner, whichever one you want to call it. So that is going to be, um, we'll need a loom first and a light gray dye with black banner. Place that inside of the loom. And we'll make a border around it. Put that back in and we're going to go across the bottom half of it. And that's how you make the door banner. I'm going to place that in the front and the back of the cab. Like so. Alright, so now we're going to copy everything that we did and build it on the other side symmetrically. Alright, so once we have both sides, we're going to go onto this side, add in blackstone button, case trap door, close it up. Then go back here and delete this slab and we'll add in an andesite wall, skip a block, add in two andesite walls and two light gray glass panes on top. Delete these two blocks, add in two stone stairs and then we'll add in light gray concrete all the way across to the back. Then we'll go um, line up with this wall and we'll add in a birch button. Alright, so then we'll go on to the other side. We'll add in a dark oak button right here to the side. And then on the side here we'll add in an oak slab all the way across the side here. Then we'll add a birch button here. And then a dark oak button right underneath this stairs, dark oak button right underneath the other stairs as well. And then underneath the slab, we'll delete this block, add in the inside a uh, black concrete and a uh, stone stairs facing towards the front, birch button, and then an acacia button. All right, and then we'll add an acacia button right there in the back. Okay, so now we're gonna make the AWVR logo. So we'll fill in this top corner here, light gray. And then we'll take out uh, another brick stairs. Add a facing towards the back. Upside down one. And we'll need a yellow concrete. And then a black concrete. And then upside down another brick stairs. So it looks like this so far. I'm going to copy this. Build it on the other side. So fill in this top corner, light gray, and then another brick stairs, right side up, upside down, yellow, and then black, and then upside down stairs. Now for the top row, we'll add in another brick slab and oak uh, slab. So two oak slabs in the middle and another brick on the edges. Do the same thing on the other side, like so. As for the other side, we'll add in um, Dark oak button underneath the stairs in the front and the stairs in the back. An acacia button right around here and then on the side <laughs> right above the other button, a uh, birch button like so. And then on this side there is going to be this sort of like a ladder. So that's going to be uh, spruce fence gates and it's going to go all the way up, open them all up. And then we'll add in stone slab. Uh, we'll make an L shape like that. And this edge here will add in yellow glass pane and black. So they're going to alternate with the hazard stripes all the way to the top. All right, so after we're done with that, uh, we can add in the unique railing for this. So that's going to be um, nether brick fence. And we are going to make this part, uh, three blocks tall. Add another one in the front here. Um, I wonder if this could be, this could actually be a, a dark oak fence gate instead. I think that that's probably like a better idea. Like a post build thought. And then we'll skip a block, add another three block tall. Add a fence after it, fence gate in between. And then uh, another brick fence, two blocks tall like that. The other side. We'll add in another brick fence here and then dangling down another brick fence, two blocks tall like that. Now for the side, 
I would extend all these pillars and the fence gates all the way across to match the other side, as well as this side will do the same thing. All right, so after we add the railings, we'll add in a bell here. So delete the fence, add another brick wall, then go on the other side, add a stone button underneath the birch. All right, so I just realized I accidentally made the AWVR logo like one block two down. So I'm gonna have to uh, move it one block up. Sorry for the inconvenience. So this whole AWVR logo, we'll have to move it up. I'll fill in the inner wall again with the light gray. So sorry about that, guys. It should look like this. So next, we're gonna line up with this dark oak bun. Two blocks like that. Skip a block two. Skip a block two. Skip a block. Add one. Then on top, we'll add in dark oak fence gate right here and a skeleton skull right there on the other side. Then we're gonna go onto this side. Add in gray carpet right above walkway all the way across and yeah that's actually pretty much it on how to build the AWVR 7375 the gray SD40-2 from the movie Unstoppable I uh, hope you guys do enjoy this video if you do remember to hit that like button down below subscribe if you had already and I'll see you guys in the next one yeah